Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today's game is a little bit on the obscure side. However, it is one that I believe is nevertheless worth playing. Beyond Pearl Harbor, Pacific Warriors. First released in the year 2000, and also known by the name of just Pacific Warriors, Beyond Pearl Harbor Pacific Warriors is a bizarre and admittedly simplistic arcade air combat game that nevertheless manages to be a blast to play. Something that you'll quickly discover once you start to upgrade your glow guns and lightning beams within the game, which is why it is unfortunate that this game does not run out of the box these days. But fortunately, we are of course here to fix that. Now before we continue any further, I should mention that I am testing these fixes out on a physical copy of the game. And in addition, it should be noted that the machine that I am testing these fixes on is a Windows 10 64-bit with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 980 Ti, and an i7-6700K processor. And with all of this said, let's dive in. So the first thing that you'll want to do after getting this game installed is to download and extract the latest version of DG Voodoo 2. Once this is done, you'll want to get into the DG Voodoo 2 folder, then the MS folder, and then the x86 folder and copy the files shown here, and paste them into the game's directory. After you do that, then you'll want to open up DG Voodoo 2 and configure as shown here. Once you do this, the game should now be playable. However, you'll notice that the game's soundtrack won't loop. To fix this, simply download the files that I have created here and paste them into your games directory as well. Once that's done, make sure to open up this file and change the paths that are shown here to where you personally installed the game. So the game should now be working as intended for the most part, however there is one additional thing I need to bring up. Because once you unlock the later levels in the game, you may notice that the game will crash if you try to boot it up and then go straight to those later levels. Fortunately, there is a simple way to play those later levels. All you have to do whenever you first boot up the game is start in Theme 1 first and then immediately exit out of it. Once you do that, you'll then be able to access Themes 2 through 5. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Beyond Pearl Harbor Pacific Warriors will be playable, and you'll even be able to experience it in a modern resolution. I hope you have found this guide to be of use, and I also hope to be back again soon with yet another video. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. 